Hi everyone, welcome back for the Santa Maria Part 2 video. It's been an interesting five weeks. The problems in Part 1 did continue, plus many new ones. No worries though, at the end of the video you'll see everything is going to work out fine. As I progressed with the starboard planking, just as predicted in part one, planks eight through two started to get shorter till it was mirroring the port side. Also, I had the same gap between plank one and the keel. This was a very easy fix. When installing the planks below the bow deck, I found planks 29 and 30 were too short on both sides. When finishing the upper stern planking, I had to install an extra plank to fill in the gap, just like on the port side in part 1. When it came time to work on fixing the stern planking gaps, I decided to try a product by DAP called Plastic Wood X. It came out okay, but I'm still not sure how it will accept the dies I'm going to use. It seemed like it took forever to glue and assemble the rail caps. So many pieces in the sanding was so tedious trying to remove the laser burn marks once they were assembled. Here's a really important note. The paper cutouts for the tracing for the rail caps are printed for the starboard side only. You need to flip one over and trace it for the port side. I saw on a blogger's photos on Ships of Scale website and I couldn't figure out why the rail caps looked so off and why they didn't fit correctly. Well, now I know that he didn't flip one over. So I guess the new saying is two starboards don't make a port. When finishing the upper bow planking, I decided to double plank plank number 31 and add some more planks to fill the gap between plank 31 and the bow deck. My thought was better to have more material than not enough. Quick note, the beam supports that are missing are 6x6 six six millimeter. I was able to find some at the modelexpo.com. Also use the measurements given as a reference only. On beam support 4, I had to add a 1.5 millimeter shim. The basic outline from the beam cut was too deep. After sanding down the added planks for the gap between plank 31 and the bow deck, it did fill the gap perfectly. Also, added some backup planks to planks 29 and 30 for the upcoming patchwork. I glued together some extra pieces to make up a simulated patch. I wanted to see if my sanding dust water glue paste would work and also to see if it would accept the dyes I'm going to use. I know it's not a perfect match, but I think it's going to work. Here's some photos of the finished installation of the bow deck, plus a couple of photos for tricks on gluing and clamping. After patching and the install of the bow deck in the rail caps, I did a review of the problems I had run up against and their solutions. All in all, with the gaps missing, 
pieces, extra planking and patchwork, I'm pleased with the results. One of my biggest concerns was that the rail cap fitting and matching up to the bow deck. With the conclusion of this part 2 video, I am very satisfied with the stage at this time with this build. I feel I have a good strong hole to work with, despite all the problems that were occurred. Well, thanks for watching and see you on part 3 at the end of June.